before I went any further, I figured I better run some 12 2 wire out there and put a plug. Made sense to have a covered one out there. Weird thing I've never had happen before. This single sided tape somehow became double sided tape and stuck the top down which is bizarre but whatever cleaned everything off and then put some different kind of weather stripping on there of course I ran out of this white stuff that I had that was kind of a foam left over from a other project I wound up buying some more though finally got around to putting the trim on that I cut the other day from the sawmill Had to be careful to make sure the top would still lift up and the doors open fine. Here it is closed. You can see it makes a pretty good seal. Went ahead and run the dehumidifier hose out. Dropped it off the ledge a little bit so that it would drain real good. Here it is with the lid propped open, the door is open, and the first rows of lumber going in, dehumidifiers in there. Finally put some handles on there so that I could actually open it right. Put a little slide lever to lock the door. Made it easier to seal off. I added Geolink temperature and humidity sensors on the left and right. Since they're Wi-Fi, I'm able to monitor them through the app. It's pretty convenient. Put this on the kilowatt. This is with the dehumidifier and two fans running. 574 watts. Here's a breakdown of everything in the project from screws to everything. I was going to try to make it for under 500 bucks, but the reality is it was going to be outside. I didn't want it to look crazy beside the shop. I also went overboard on a few things. I managed to keep the weight decent, but in reality, the OSB fire resistant wood was about 70 pounds a sheet versus, you know, 35 or 40. So that really added to the weight. Also did a liner inside instead of having uh, foam facing. If I'd have been able to make this full size, it would have been a lot easier because I wouldn't have had to deal with a uh, hinge top and would have been able to use, you know, fuller pieces of plywood instead of cutting every single one to size. At this point, it's all over but the crying. So the good thing is... It seems to be working as expected. The inside is holding temperature good. The humidity seems to be dropping as expected. So I'm excited to see what comes of this. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment below or hit me up. Meanwhile, if you made it this far, like and subscribe.